Hello, my name is Lauren Tuscula. And my name is Erin Fitzgerald. And welcome to Outside, Outside the, the Dog House, House, the weekly show produced by the Wachusa Dirt Dogs. The Dirt Dogs are a member of the Futures Collegiate Baseball League and play home games at Doyle Field in Lemonster, Mass. Ticket prices are $4.50 for adults, $4 for seniors, and $3 for kids aged 5 to 14. Kids under 5 get in for free. We offer concessions at every home game of the year, including everything from cheeseburgers to fried dough. You can also play baseball bingo at our home games to be entered to win $2,000 or test your luck in launch a ball to win other special prizes. We also feature a beer garden now conveniently located in left fields at every home game of the year. The Dirt Dogs begin a three-game homestand on Thursday, July 10th against the Brockton Rocks. On Friday, July 11th, they'll take on Martha's Vineyard for the Sharks' first trip to Doyle Field. The homestand comes to a close on Saturday the 12th when the Old Orchard Beach Raging Tide come to town. Each game will begin at 6.35 p.m. Country will take over Doyle Field on the 10th as we host Country Night sponsored by Texas Roadhouse. Come hang out with their mascot, Andy the Armadillo, and enter to win gift cards to the restaurant and local farms. The 12th will be Give Me Shelter Night brought to our fans in conjunction with local animal shelters. Be sure to head out to Doyle Field at 160 Pre Street to catch all of the action. And now let's take a quick look at the past week of play for the Dirt Dogs. The team went 1-6 in the past week, but many individuals performed well despite the team's overall record. The Dogs defeated the Seacoast Mavericks back on Wednesday, July 2nd. Ben White out of the College of the Holy Cross earned the win on the mound, only surrendering four hits through five innings of work. Evan McIntosh from UMass Amherst was awarded Pitcher of the Night honors as he was credited with the save, throwing four shutout innings. The Dirt Dogs swept the awards that evening as friend of the show Mattingly Romanin from Chicago State was named Player of the Night for his five-hit game against the Mavericks. He had six RBI and a stolen base on the night. Other offensive highlights include Joe Breen out of Southern Connecticut State, who carries a 15-game hit streak into the coming week of play. Breen was named the Features Collegiate League Player of the Week and currently leads the Dirt Dogs with a 360 batting average so far in the season. Now, before we get to today's guests, it is time for our Outside the Doghouse trivia question. Each week on the show, we'll ask our viewers a trivia question about the Dirt Dogs. Enter the answer under the Outside the Doghouse tab on our website, www.dirtdogsball.com, to be entered for a chance to win a pair of tickets to any home game. Here's today's question. Who recently broke the Dirt Dogs' single-season home run record, blasting eight home runs already on the season? And here's the question one more time. Who recently broke the Dirt Dogs' single-season home run record already, with eight homers credited to his name on the year? We'd also like to give a belated birthday shout out to our marketing manager and supervisor, Kaylee Grosso. Thank you so much, Kaylee, for all that you do for the Dirt Dogs, and we hope you had a great day. Thanks, Erin. And now we'll get to today's guests. We have Mike Corin, Tommy Buonapani, and Matt Ferriallo, all with us from the University of Rhode Island. Thanks for being with us, guys. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So before we get started, we're going to play a quick little game. Erin and I are going to name players, and you guys are going to give us the first word that comes to mind. You guys ready? Yep. yep. All right. The first one, Michael Rizzatella. Wowed. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> the voice. <laughs> and next one's Tony Rollo. Definitely engaged. <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> He's my uh, throwing partner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe Brain. Obvious, just muscles. Teddy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> and then Sean Abate. Definitely Bassmaster. Caught his first fish. <laughs> Mafia. Uh, I say funny. Austin Botts. Hmm. I gotta say big softy. Big country. <laughs> uh, hits balls very far. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ben White. Ben White is a clown. Definitely. Best answer. Um, Holy Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Mike London. Snapchat. That's all he does. <laughs> he shoves on the mound. Shoves? Shoves. Oh. <laughs> he does good. Uh, he was the first person on the team to add me on Twitter. <laughs> and then Matt Russell? Star Wars. He's obsessed. He's got a nice stash. <laughs> um, pinch runner. <laughs> Ryder McConey. Definitely a health freak. Uh -huh. Hit the furthest ball of the year, probably. Um, hard worker. Okay. And Curtis White? Uh, Aladdin, because of his baseball pants. Mm -hmm. Hitch. I would say um, Pedro Serrano. 
right. And here's the last one. Jabs. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, definitely I, Frankenstein. And uh, Jabs is just Jabs to me. Yeah. yeah. Just jabs. He's a stud. Yeah. He's the a definition stud. of a stud. <laughs> So thank you for playing our game. Um, what's it been like playing summer ball together, living together, and after spending the whole college season together as well? Um, it's uh, it's fun, but I mean, get a little sick of them. <laughs> yeah. He loves us. <laughs> no, but definitely the chemistry is always there, and it, we try to bring it to our new team, which uh, makes us better usually. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always good having guys that you see all year in school and carrying that to the summer. It's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, you, you get sick of them sometimes, but <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. And overall, you've enjoyed your time as Dirt Dogs. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's been fun. Definitely yeah. love the guys on the team. Yeah, seems yeah. like fun time. <laughs> yeah. So, what's been the biggest transition from like hitter and pitcher perspective? Transitioning from the A10 conference where you guys use metal bats to this wood bat league. Well, as a pitcher, it's definitely easier because wood bats don't go as far. Yeah. So if you leave the ball down the middle, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'd say the wood bat is the biggest thing, because metal you can really hit anything. Wood's yeah. a well, lot the different. Yeah, the first game, I, the, the first pitch I saw this summer, I broke a bat. So I do, <laughs> I do adjust from there, and uh, it's much different than metal. But it makes you a better hitter hitting with wood. So. And do each of you have any pregame superstitions or rituals that you have to do? Um, I mean, I don't say it's a ritual, but you can't step on the white line. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to have a bad, bad game. Bad luck. Yeah. Believe. Not really. Just go and play. <laughs> well, I, I usually uh, make a peanut butter and banana sandwich <laughs> <laughs> before every game. It's good one. Yeah, just my stretching routine too. So. And do you guys have any baseball heroes? Uh, I mean, I love Mariano Rivera. I'm a Yankee fan. Mm -hmm. Nobody really is a Yankee uh, fan around here, yeah. but he still have to respect his game. Yeah, he's the man. <laughs> Not really. No. no. <laughs> he's he's a McCutcheon. Boring guy. Yeah, McCutcheon. <laughs> I kind of love him. Man crush. Yeah. <laughs> I've always liked Derek Jeter and uh, Mike Trout. I like oh, yeah. Trout. Yeah. Young guy. Yeah. Stud. And uh, a little bit off the track from baseball, but what are your go-to pickup lines? you got to hit them with the, hey, what's up? Or uh, if they're at a baseball game, you got to play your number on a baseball and then throw it to them. <laughs> that usually works. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is a tough one. I don't know. I just usually let them come to me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I haven't used a pickup line in a while. I've had a girlfriend for a while, so. Oh, so you'll so get in so trouble yeah. a few times. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, she's great, so. Oh, yeah. okay. Great. We'll get back to baseball now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what attracted you guys to the URI program when you were being recruited? Um, campus is beautiful, and it's like five minutes from the beach, and then our baseball field is turf, so that's always oh, that's real nice yeah. to play on. I'd say the schedule. The strength of schedule that we play, we always play the top gear in the country. Yeah, same things, you know, the hitting barn, the campus. And I'm from Rhode Island, so it's a perfect place to play, so. Awesome. Yeah. And what have been your favorite Dirt Dogs promotional nights so far? I like the beach day because Benway and Alec Morrison wore the weirdest shirts possible. <laughs> yeah, and Sassy they wore suits it while through the running and everything, they yeah. kept with the shirts on. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say the same. The same reasons. I wish I dressed up though. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. And what are you guys majoring in at URI? I'm a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, business management. I'm a criminal justice. Oh, awesome. And did you guys play any other sports while you were growing up? I always played basketball and football. Mm -hmm. uh, basketball and soccer. Yeah, basketball and baseball. Okay. So when did you know that baseball was something that you wanted to pursue and play in college? Well, football and basketball, I was way too small. So <laughs> baseball was the next choice. <laughs> no, I was always uh, the best at baseball, and I liked it the best, so just wanted to play it in college. Got the opportunity to. Yeah, same. Ever since I was young, baseball has always been the, my favorite sport and where I wanted to play. And if you weren't playing baseball for the Dirt Dogs this summer, what would you be doing? On the beach. Definitely on the beach right <laughs> now. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And Mike, you're one of the best hitters on the team. You already shattered the single season home run record. So can you tell us a little bit about your approach at the plate? Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't try to do too much. I just try to hit the ball up the middle and just try to stay short. And uh, everyone thinks I always try to hit a home run, but, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> so it, when I try to hit home runs, I end up striking out or you know, hitting, hitting a fly ball. 
So, yeah, the key is just don't try to do too much. So. Mm -hmm. Good advice. And Tommy, you've been great, consistent hitting and defensively in the outfield. What's your mental aspect going into each game? My approach to each game is just have a clear head, kind of have fun with it. I'm a laid back player. I like to be enthusiastic about everything. Don't really get much to my head. Just stay clear. Just play the game. Good. <laughs> and then finally, Matt, you're one of the Dirt Dogs' best pitchers out of the bullpen. Mm -hmm. I know our media manager, Evan Cox, really likes to photograph your motion. So how did you acquire that submarine style? Um, well, Coach just asked me one day, he asked me if I ever dropped down. I didn't really know what he was talking about, so I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, and I tried it, and it was actually the ball was moving a lot better. So ever since then, I've just been going lower and lower. Cool. And then can you talk us a little bit through your mindset on the mound against like a really tough batter? Well, me, obviously, I'm not going to blow him away with my fastball. So really just throw the ball down the middle and let, just let the ball sink, and they'll swing over it every time or hit a ground ball. Just don't, same thing, don't try to do too much. Just throw the ball, let him get himself up. And each of you have any specific reasons for choosing the position that you play? I was not a good hitter. <laughs> I, struck, I struck out a lot, oh. so I, my choice was pitcher. Easy, easy choice. Well. I can run a little bit, so they just sent, sent, yeah. sent me in the <laughs> center field. <laughs> no, I've always just played infield and outfield. Well, I just started playing outfield this year at URI, so mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's good. Good transition. Yeah. Okay. And then I know you mentioned you're a Yankees fan, but what teams you guys root for? Red Sox. Red Sox. Red Sox. Yeah. 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 Good. It's about yeah. time. We always have Yankee fans Honestly. on the show. Yeah. So. No offense. But. Right. No, and there's then, offense. Yeah, it's <laughs> offense to that. Um, how do you guys feel about the All Star nominations that just came out? Glad Jeter's in it. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. that was good. And he's starting, so it's good for a Yankee fan. Yeah. Disappointed that there's only one Red Sox right now. Yeah, just confused, last year. But that's all right. Yeah, they're yeah. a little rough right now. That's what they deserve. Yeah, yeah right now, right. I have to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Matt, this one isn't really for you, but um, do you guys prefer to hit or play in the field? Hit. Yeah. Uh, that's well, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say hit. Awesome. Yeah. And what have been your favorite baseball memories, either in high school or at URI? Um, well, URI, my first appearance, definitely probably my favorite one. I did well, too, so that always That's works. Really nice. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say first college appearance. Really excited and nervous, but yeah. Yeah. Still, Very nervous. still a lot. A lot of fun. Yeah, I'd say the same. You know, seeing, playing a college game is what you've wanted to do your whole life. And, mm. Yeah, that was definitely the best experience. Nice. And then on the flip side of that one, do you have any embarrassing baseball memories? Oh, oh <laughs> well, that's a big smile. <laughs> well, I have a bunch, but just one that comes to mind is back in Little League when I was a hitter. I tried to hit the ball, and I fouled it off my own face and <laughs> broke my nose. So uh, oh my gosh. not too many good hitting memories. <laughs> uh, one of mine was in some tournament in like Georgia. It was a big crowd, big, big crowd. and. Uh, I hit a ground ball and I tried to run out of the box and I fell completely right down. Oh, oh no. Like, and I was so upset that I just walked back to the dugout <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was laughing at me. Um, one of mine is I was rounding second and I was trying to steal third and I just completely just fell on my face. Oh. It was in high school, but it's pretty embarrassing. High school's a tough time to do something like yeah. that, yeah. though. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, any inf any additional information you guys want to add, or any comments, or anything? any goals for the rest of the season? Well, hopefully, we start winning some games. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, that's definitely the biggest goal. Like Coach Barnaby always says, we got to win the week. One in six wasn't mm -hmm. winning the week. Yeah, but that's new week. New, new week. week. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for being on the show today. Thank you. And as a reminder to our fans, we play home games at Doyle Field, located at 160 Pre Street in Lemonster, Mass. Ticket prices are $4.50 for adults, $4 for seniors, and $3 for kids aged 5 to 14. Kids under 5, get them for free. And we have a three-game homestand this week beginning on Thursday the 10th against the East Division leading Brockton Rocks. We'll host the Martha's Vineyard Sharks for the first time this year on Friday the 11th and finish up the homestand on Saturday the 12th against the Old Orchard Beach Raging Tide. First pitches are all slated for 6.35 p.m. Don't forget that Thursday the 10th is Country Night, sponsored by Texas Roadhouse, while Saturday the 12th is Give Me Shelter Night. Thank you again to our guests, uh, to our crew, to FATV, and most importantly to our viewers for tuning in. See you here next week for Outside, Outside the Doghouse. Dog <laughs>